networking application ports and protocols. Let's explore widely used network protocols and their corresponding port numbers, breaking down their functions and roles in network communication. And in this video you'll gain a clear understanding of their essential uses and port assignments. So let's dive in and let's start with FTP or File Transfer Protocol. FTP is a standard protocol designed to transfer files between devices over a network. Its primary use is to upload or download files from a remote server to a local computer. While efficient, FTP lacks encryption, which makes it insecure for sensitive data transfers. FTP utilizes two ports, port 21, which is known as the control port, where commands and responses are exchanged between the client and server, and port 20, which handles the actual data transfer. Because it transmits data in plain text, FTP poses a risk of exposing sensitive information, like usernames and passwords, to potential attackers. Secure a shell or SSH. SSH provides a secure method to access a remote computer, primarily used to execute commands remotely via command line interface and it is well known for its robust security since all data is encrypted. And SSH uses port 22, which ensures the secure data transfer including logging credentials between devices. This makes SSH far more secure compared to older remote access protocols which lack encryption. Telnet. Telnet is similar to SSH as it allows for remote access to a computer, but with one critical difference. Telnet does not provide encryption. Data including passwords and sensitive commands is transmitted in plain text, making it vulnerable to interception. Telnet operates on port 23, and while it is still in use, it is generally not recommended for secure communication due to its lack of encryption. Simple Mail Transfer Protocol or SMTP SMTP is responsible for sending emails between servers and from clients to servers. When you send an email, it's the protocol that transfers your message to the recipient's email server. However, SMTP lacks encryption, which can be security concern for email privacy. SMTP communicates via port 25 by default for email transmission. DNS or domain name system. DNS functions as the internet phone book, translating human readable domain names, e.g. www.example.com into IP addresses. This enables computers to locate and connect to the correct servers, and DNS primarily uses port 53, handling both queries to DNS servers and responses from them. This translation allows seamless internet browsing. DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol DHCP automates the configuration of devices on a network by dynamically assigning IP addresses and network settings. This is particularly useful in a large networks where manual configuration would be impractical. DHCP relies on port 67 on the server side and port 68 on the client side to communicate. The process involves a client sending a discover message, the server offering IP settings and the client accepting them. Tribal File Transfer Protocol or TFTP TFTP is a simplified version of FTP. Used for tasks like transferring small files or network boot processes, it's faster but less reliable than FTP, as it doesn't ensure data delivery and lacks security features like authentication or encryption. TFTP uses port 69 for its data transfer operations. HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol HTTP is the core protocol for transferring web content from servers to browsers. Whenever you visit a web page, HTTP facilitates the retrieval and display of that content. However, it's important to note that HTTP does not encrypt data, meaning any information exchange could potentially be intercepted. And HTTP operates on port 80, serving web traffic across the Internet. Post Office Protocol 3 or POP 3 
POP3 is an older protocol for retrieving emails from a server to a local device. Once the emails are downloaded, they are typically deleted from the server, making POP3 ideal for single device email access. It communicates through port 110, but similar to other legacy protocols, it lacks encryption in its standard form, which possesses a risk when retrieving emails over unsecured networks. Network Basic Input Output System or NetBIOS NetBIOS is a protocol used in smaller networks for sharing files and printers. It facilitates network tasks like name services and session management. NetBIOS uses port 137 for name services and port 139 for session services. Well useful for local networks, NetBIOS is not suited for modern large-scale internet use. IMAP or Internet Message Access Protocol IMAP is a more modern email retrieval protocol that allows synchronization of emails across multiple devices. Unlike POP3, IMAP keeps emails stored on the server, ensuring that any changes made on one device are reflected on others. And IMAP is using port 143, offering a more flexible way to manage emails compared to older retrieval methods. SNMP or Simple Network Management Protocol SNMP is a crucial for network management, enabling the monitoring and configuration of devices like routers, switches and servers. It collects and sends data about the device health and performance. SNMP operates using port 161 for sending requests and port 162 for receiving alerts or trap messages from devices. LDAP or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol LDAP helps organize and manage user information across a network, serving as a directory service. It's particularly useful in large organizations for managing user access to network resources. And LDAP communicates using port 389 to access and manage directory information efficiently. Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure or HTTPS HTTPS is the secure version of HTTP, encrypting data transferred between the browser and server. This protocol is essential for secure online transactions and protecting sensitive data like login credentials and HTTPS operates on port 443 or 443, ensuring encrypted communication to protect user privacy. Server Message Block or SMB SMB is a protocol used primarily in Windows networks to share files, printers and resources between devices. It allows multiple devices within a network to access and modify shared resources. And SMB runs on port 445, allowing secure resource sharing within a local area network. Remote Desktop Protocol or RDP RDP enables users to access and control a remote computer with a graphical interface. Unlike the text-based interfaces of Telnet or SSH, it is widely used in corporate environments for remote work and IT support. RDP communicates through port 3389 facilitating remote access to desktops with full graphical and user control. This overview of common network protocols and their port numbers provides a basic understanding of their functions and roles in modern networks. Each protocol plays a critical part in enabling secure and efficient communication across systems and devices.